Hey guys, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. I just got home from Publix and wanted to share all the deals that we grabbed this week, especially for Lynn, who's been asking me to do this for a few weeks. It's been busy and hard to come home and line everything up. So let me turn around and just show you everything we grabbed. Guys, this is a huge week for groceries. If there's any week that you pull out the coupons and, and the scissors and you go to it, it should always be the week before Thanksgiving because so many of the things that are on sale, uh, like these guys, we don't see all year long. Uh, most of these deals, by the way, before I jump into them, just to emphasize, most of the deals are really running at every major grocery store. Everyone has French's burned onions, everyone has canned goods, sugar, flour, this is the week to grab it. So while I'm sharing Publix deals with you, the coupons are the same for all the stores and the deals are the same. Like for example, I did not buy Philadelphia cream cheese because it's not on sale at Publix, but Philadelphia cream cheese is like a dollar at over 10 different stores right now. Not Publix, um, but so many other stores. So that's one example, it's not on my table, but one example of what I mean by the deals that we're gonna go through, you really can grab everywhere. And hey Lynn, I'm glad that you're catching this. Um, so as we dive in, uh, the deals are at Publix, but again, you're gonna find most of them everywhere else. So let me turn it back around uh, and we'll just jump in. Almost everything on the table is a buy one get one deal uh, because that's what we should be shopping. So we're aiming for the items that are 40% off or more before the coupons and then we throw in the coupons. So if you're sitting here and you're like, what's that sale? What's that? They're all buy one, get one. That's the best way to look at it. There's a couple of exceptions, but almost every single one of them buy one, get one. So let's start with the freebies. We might as well just right off the bat, hit the fun stuff. This guy, Tums, this is the little tiny 36 count of Tums. Regular price in every Publix is $2.09. We have a public store coupon for $3 off of two, and we have 75 cent manufacturer's coupons. There's a digital, there's um, printables, there's inserts, so you've got a lot of choices here. Grab two 75 cent manufacturer coupons, that's $1.50. Use the $3 off two store coupon. Total, that's $4.50 off of two packages. Now, they only cost $2.09. So you are coming out ahead on this one, 30 cents. You're gonna make 30 cents to buy Tums. I know it's a little tiny package, and if you've got heartburn, <laughs> this is like you know throwing a drop of water on the fire, but they're a moneymaker, so this is the one you want. Um, and I also noticed that the printable coupons on those, which by the way, guys, I have right here, so if you're really curious, note that they're actually good on the 28th, and your store may actually have these are the mint, but they may actually have fruity ones that are 28s, and you can do that. So if you wanted to get the 28s, they would be a money maker as well. Hall's cough drops are also free this week. We've got $1.25 manufacturer's coupons. Um, I'm digging to see what the insert was on those from the 11.3 smart source. We've also got a $1 off to digital. We have a $1 off to um, store printable, so this is a new booklet that has come out called the Get Relief Fly Flyer or booklet, but there's a printable version. So if you go to the database on Southern Savers or you just go to southernsavers.com slash Publix, you'll see the printable. So you're gonna use the manufacturer, you're gonna use the store, and just with the manufacturer and the store, two of them are free. The manufacturer is a dollar off, a uh, dollar 25 off two, and the store is $1 off two, so that is basically $2.25 off of two, and they are buy one, get one at $2.19. So you buy two of them for $2.19, you've got $2.25 off, you are making six cents, if you wanna look at it that way. It's really paying the tax here, but you're getting two completely free, and you can do that again with another manufacturer and another store. So free hauls all the way around um, for everyone. So there's, there's our two freebies right off the bat. Um, and guys, if you don't need them, put them in your medicine cabinet because you're gonna need them at some point. That's just life. Um, so let's talk about other things. A few things that don't have coupons. When you hit the cheese section, so the fancy cheese section, they've got a lot of buy one, get one cheeses right now. So just pick whatever you want. If you want fancy cheeses. For us, we tend to do like a heavy hors d'oeuvres night um, the night before holidays. So 
I grabbed this one and I'll probably grab some others. I only grabbed one today, but there's a lot of choices. Um, all of the Cast Castello, however we're going to say that brand, are buy one, get one. No coupons here, just fun, fancy cheeses. Cranberries are buy one, get one. Little tiny fun baby fingerling potatoes are buy one, get one this week. No coupons on those guys, um, but just some things you may need for Thanksgiving. There's actually a lot of good produce deals. I did not grab the rest of it. A lot of things I put on my buy low list, and then I left all my buy low coupons at home accidentally. So we just went public shopping today. Um, now these, hopefully you're going to find this in your store. All Craft is buy one, get one this week. And Taco Bell's included in that. It's actually owned by Craft. But look in your store because mine had in-store dispensers with dollar off two Taco Bell coupons in them. So this is part of the buy one get one sale and they're gonna hand you a coupon right there in the store. I got this one particularly. So when you're looking at the Taco Bell, some of them are kind of funky flavors and they've added some things to the cheese like ranch and um, Mexican seasoning and I can't really use that in lots of recipes. But these in particular do not have any added spices. So if you're hunting, you wanna grab them but you don't really want ranch flavored cheese, go for that one. Uh, and you can use it in anything you wanted. So dollar off two coupon in the store and their buy one get one. Ritz, we don't have any Nabisco coupons, um, but Ritz are buy one get one. You're gonna need them for some of your casseroles or we do for our casseroles next week. So we added two into the mix. Um, this is one product though, if you're doing the public stocking spree, that it is gonna count towards your $10 Publix gift card. So for every $50 that you spend in Kraft and Nabisco, and PepsiCo products, you get a $10 Publix gift card, and it tracks you over time. So these count into that. You should always submit every receipt to Stocking Spree, no matter what, because you're gonna find that there were things in there that you um, didn't know about. Okay, um, two fun ones if you are coffee folks. Starbucks right now, we have a store coupon for Starbucks that's in one of those new printables as well, so you're gonna need to head to, uh, to Southern Savers and you'll find that printable link for the store coupon. But we also have a manufacturer's coupon. So you're gonna get $2 off of Starbucks coffee and it is on sale this week. So it makes this package $4.99 for the 12 ounce bag of um, Starbucks. We go whole bean for our, we have one of the little grinders um, that kind of makes it by the cup, but it's not a K-cup machine. Um, and then McCormick Gourmet. Now this is a printable coupon. We've got $1.50 printables here, but it is a regional coupon. So if you click through the link on the Publix list on Southern Savers and you don't see the coupon, it means that it's not available in your area. But hopefully you're gonna find it. These are buy one, get one this week. So I printed two coupons. Um, both of these in my store were $3.49 for nutmeg and for curry. That's before the sale. So at the half price of that is $1.74, and I have a $1.50 coupon. So I'm paying $0.24 cents per spice after the $1.50 coupon. Uh, that's a great price. So you've got a lot of things that are in that $3.49 range. Uh, rosemary, thyme, most of your more basic spices were all about that price. So grab those $1.50 coupons and get some really good uh, prices for your spice cabinet for sure. Um, let's talk cereal because we went a little overboard. We actually have, um, I have not gone couponing in a while. So our cereal was getting really low. And one of my teenagers actually told me this morning, mama, I had to eat oatmeal. Like when are we getting cereal? Like, oatmeal is not going to kill you. But they have reached the point where they were about to cry mutiny. So we hit the cereals this week. General Mills is buy one, get one. General Mills kids are buy one, get one. General Mills checks is buy one, get one. Kellogg's is buy one, get one. Um, so we got a lot here. I had General Mills coupons for $1.50 off three. So you'll notice that's why there's three of each of those sets. And Kellogg's, I used some Kellogg's Family Rewards points and got $1 printable coupons with the Kellogg's Family Rewards points. So for those, I could get a better deal. If you're not collecting your Kellogg's Rewards points, you should be because so many of our stores are directly linked. Um, now Publix is not one of them. I do still have to upload my receipt to earn more points, but if I buy Kellogg's and Bilo, if you buy them in Winn-Dixie, Lowe's Foods, Harris Teeter, they just automatically tell Kellogg's that you bought their cereal and you earn points. Um, and that $1 off coupon is pretty sweet. So we went Rice Krispies and I'll go ahead and explain too. We also went marshmallows because marshmallows are buy one, get one this week. And for every holiday party that my kids sign us up for food, we bring Rice Krispies because it cannot get any easier. So 
or Rice Krispie treats. Um, so those massive boxes of Rice Krispies right here, and they are definitely massive. Um, they are going to turn into lots of holiday Rice Krispie treats in the end. Uh, makes my life super, super easy. Um, Thomas Bagels or Buy One Get One, and look in your store. This one has the Buy One Get One sticker on the bottom, but a lot of the ones in our store also had stickers um, for buy two Thomas Bagels and get $1 off eggs. I didn't need eggs. Uh, we have lots of chickens, but if you do, look particularly for that coupon um, that is at the end of your bagels, and hopefully you'll find it in your store. Quaker granola bars and dips are all BOGO, and we've got $1 off two coupons from a recent insert. Um, <clears throat> let's see, it was from the 1020, so it's about a month old, uh, but it makes them 90 cents a box in my store, and you may find them even cheaper in your store, but 90 cents a box for things that your kids can put in their lunches or have as snacks is a pretty sweet price. Um, Ocean Spray is BOGO, and this one, I had a competitor coupon for $1 off any $3 or more purchase of juice. Uh, so I gladly, this is already something we would regularly use, but I used a competitor here. Don't forget Publix will accept any local grocery store competitor coupon. So those were sent in the mail from Kroger and I was very happy to use them at Publix. I had one other that we grabbed that was part of that and that was this. So this is not on sale in Publix. You do not want to grab it unless uh, Kroger sent you a coupon for completely free Welch's fruit snacks. Um, but that was in my home mailer that Kroger sent along with the juice coupon. So we grabbed completely free Welch's at Publix. It's pretty rare for me to shop in Kroger. Uh, I'm just a Publix girl. So I'm glad to turn around and use those Kroger coupons somewhere else uh, and still get the freebie for sure. Um, Mueller's pasta is buy one get one. We've got 75 cent off two coupons for Mueller's that were also in a recent insert. Um, trying to dig and find that one from the 11.3. So it was very recent. Uh, depending on the price in your store with the buy one get one sale, they're 85 cents a piece just with the sale. And then you've got a 75 cent coupon. Um, quick math on that is 37 cents off of each product. Um, so they're 85 cents with the sale minus 37 cents. You're coming out paying, um, like, what is that? 48 cents a piece for crazy math. That's a good price. You are never going to find house brand pasta for 48 cents a box. Um, and that is my go-to whenever folks try to tell me, you know, just to jump back and let me just, you know, make, oh, goodness, um, make some of you guys a little upset on this one um, because I know my Aldi folks, y'all don't like to hear this, but folks always say, well, what about just going to Aldi? Guys, you are not gonna walk into Aldi and find pasta for 48 cents a box. You're just not going to. Uh, so shopping the national brands on sale with a coupon is going to beat the Aldi price. And I know for Aldi lovers that that's like, I've just, you know, set your world on fire, um, but it is not, it's not everything when it comes down to getting the best prices. So we do want to shop the buy one, get one sales with the coupons. They do end up being a better price. So sorry to ruin your, your, your grocery world, but just kind of telling you the truth on that one. Um, so to jump in, I've got a lot here and I didn't quite mean to make it all stacked up together. Um, I had some help loading it all up on the table. Uh, but this is definitely the time of year, guys, to grab anything baking. Uh, it's all buy one, get one, flour, Pam, cooking oil. Uh, this is old-fashioned oats, so everything that we will use to make holiday cookies, uh, it is all on sale. We've got coupons for the Quaker Oats that's also um, from, this guy was actually in Sunday's paper, so the 1117, if you didn't get this past Sunday's paper, we don't have a coupon for the Pillsbury or the Wesson, but it still makes them super cheap to be buy one, get one. The Pam is buy one, get one. Um, the Dixie Crystals. This is on sale in a lot of stores. It's actually not on sale that much in Publix. This is one that is kind of a rare one. We are fair. For some reason, Dixie Crystals sponsored some things in our local fair. And so when we went to pick up all of our fun fair entries, because my girls enter the fair every year, we got coupons for free Dixie Crystals. So these guys were just free because of some random coupons that we came across. But there are some Dixie Crystal printables. They are buy one, get one in um, Bilo. They are, 
on sale in Harris Teeter. So a lot of other stores between Dixie Crystals or Domino Sugar, you have a BOGO Sugar in every store. So it may not be Dixie Crystals in your area, it may be the other one, but I promise you Sugar is on sale. One of the major brands is on sale in your store. Um, parchment paper is on sale in almost every store for about the same price. And there's a $1 printable coupon on Reynolds parchment paper. So it makes each roll come out to be $1.99. It's not super crazy cheap, um, but compared to the regular price, you're saving over half, uh, and it's a great thing to have. If you have not started baking with parchment paper, you should. It is just magical, and I don't know why we didn't for years in our house, um, but thankfully we have, we have become wiser. Um, <clears throat> French's fried onions on sale everywhere. The Publix deal for these is possibly the best option because Publix has a store coupon. So I can use my store coupon for $3 off three. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't wanna tell you guys wrong, so I'm digging through. Again, yes, a $3 off three. It's, a, it's in the green um, grocery flyer right now. And then we have 40 cents off one coupons that were in the 11.3. So you'll notice each of these had a coupon on them, but I didn't use it because this is 33 cents off of each one of them and my manufacturer's coupon was for 40 cents. So just hold on to those if you're not gonna use them um, or give them to a friend, but I wanted to use the other coupons, not the coupons that were on the product. So I used the store three off three and three 40 cents off one in, uh, coupons from the 11.3 insert. So it makes each one of them $2.09. To move on, it's a really good week. Sorry, that just really, really bugs me. It's a good week to grab canned veggies. This is also a Publix, Winn-Dixie, or buy low deal. They are buy one, get one at all three stores. Publix has a store coupon for 40 cents off four, I wanna say, I might have them backwards. There's a 40 cent coupon and a 50 cent coupon that you can use together. Um, Trying to make sure I tell you right on that one. Yes, it's a store coupon for 40 cents off four and a manufacturer's coupon for 50 cents off four. And I had two of them, so I grabbed eight total. That's 90 cents in coupons, minus the fact that they're buy one, get one for $1.33 um, before the sale. So in the end, you have canned veggies for less than 50 cents a can, which is a great stock up price. Uh, and I probably should have gotten more than eight, but that's all that I had coupons for. So we went for everything we need to make green bean casserole and then some extra corn added in. Swanson's broth and cooking stock is also BOGO and we've got a lot of coupons for that. 75 cents off two, 50 cents off two. It just kind of depends on what was in your area, but it's a good week to grab that. If you don't have a Publix, um, buy low, I thought it was funny, every type of of cooking broth is buy one get one this week. Swanson's, Progresso, um, all of them, every brand. So if you need um, cooking broth of any sorts, buy low has you covered. But this made for a very good price using that 75 cent off two with the buy one get one sale. Um, one uh, other one also buy one get one with a dollar off two printable is Lindsay Olives. It makes them less than like 60 cents a can depending on your store. Uh, in my store it made it 50 cents a can. You may find them a little bit more in your area, but I hate olives, you know, just, just to be honest with you, but my children love them. Um, so that is a way, one way that I can just say I love you. They were on sale, but I am not gonna eat them. Um, and then this guy I stumbled upon. I was not expecting Holland House. This is an unadvertised deal. It's on sale uh, right now, only maybe 80, 90 cents off. So it's uh, $2.99 on sale for Holland House Cooking Wine. Each one of these had 75 cent manufacturer hang tags on them. And there's a store 75 cent coupon as well that you can pair in. So you can print it or you'll possibly find it in the store. So after the 75 cent hang tag and the 75 cent store coupon and the sale, you're walking out the door getting each one of these for uh, what is that like a buck 49 and they're normally 3.99 so it's a pretty good price uh, if you use cooking wine on a regular uh, basis um, and jonathan the broth and stock after the coupon so it's buy one get one depending on which one you grab in my store these were 289 so uh, for just the cooking stock or i went and grabbed just the normal plain old chicken broth so $2.89, um, which makes them $1.45 minus the 37 cents, because it's a 75 cent off two coupon. So $1.45 minus 37 cents, it's like 
basically, um, oh goodness, uh, like a dollar eight on that one in the end, um, which isn't a bad price compared to the full price of $249. Uh, a few more. This is a really fun one, guys, if you uh, love almonds. Uh, and I got this one as a present for my husband, so don't tell him. But um, Blue Diamond al Almonds. Buy one, get one this week in Publix. This is definitely the best price around. We've got $1.50 off two coupons, and we have 50 cent Ibotas that are good on up to five. Um, so use a dollar fifty coupon. Use the one dollar in Ibotas because you grab two of them. That's two dollars and fifty cents. Their full price is three ninety nine. So buy one get one at three ninety nine. It makes them seventy five cents a can for Blue Diamond almonds. So my plan um, is actually that I usually stick these in adult stockings. They're little. Uh, I know we can totally eat them too as snacks, but I usually grab. The fun flavors and stick them in adult stockings just as something different versus sticking candy in everybody's stockings um, so at 74 cents a can it's a fun price for that one if you wanted to do that too um, orville redenbacher is buy one get one i don't tend to grab the pouches we tend to grab these and use our air popper um, no coupons here but a very good price and then this guy was a present for everyone in the house as well uh, but Publix has their original eggnog half gallons. So these aren't the tiny ones, but these are the big ones on sale for three bucks. And it's really like a $2.50 savings on each one of those half gallons. So if you love eggnog, um, I don't actually know how long this will last us because every single person in this house loves it except me. Um, but if you love eggnog, I would go ahead and get this one while you can or get a rain check if they run out um, by the time you get to the store. Lynn, I'm glad you love the Blue Diamonds. Me too. So they're on sale in other places. You can get them for $1.25 in Walgreens. Next week, they'll be $1.25 in CVS. But this at $0.74 cents in Publix definitely beats all the other stores. Um, so one more freebie for you guys, and that's Dove Hair. Uh, and this freebie is going to last. It's in the new um, personal care flyer, so it started this weekend. Um, but you should still find it fully stocked in your store. And look, these are the big, huge bottles. So this is on sale two for seven. We've got a store four dollar off two, a uh, sorry, a manufacturer four dollar off two, a store two dollars off two. So that's six dollars in coupons. They're on sale two for seven, so you're basically paying a buck for both of them. But then submit your receipt to Fetch, which is one of the many mobile apps that is out there, and you're gonna get a dollar back from Fetch. So in the end, you paid a dollar in the store after both coupons, and you got that one dollar right back from Fetch Rewards. Even if you didn't do Fetch, you just got them both for 50 cents, which for a huge bottle of Dove is a great price, but completely free after the mobile app. Um, another digital though that I would grab is this guy. This is a new Publix digital. I just loaded it this morning, so you should be able to find it as well. But there is a Publix digital coupon for any handy foil, $2.50 off of any handy foil baking pan. And this guy right here, he's, he's huge. He's a huge turkey roasting pan, is on sale for $2.99. So use your $2.50 digital and get this for $0.49 cents in the end, which is a really, really great price um, for a massive roasting pan. I don't know that we will roast our turkey in ours, but we will definitely put it to use uh, with something uh, holiday cooking related. And the last two that I have for you, um, this was an extra BOGO. It wasn't in the main weekly ad. It's in a new um, pet and baby flyer that started. But Blue Wilderness Trail Treats are buy one, get one, and we've got $2 off coupons from, um, the S, from the 1110. So not this past weekend, but the weekend before, $2 off coupons. It makes them $1.14, uh, and that's just based on the, the price in my store, but a really good price for a pretty large bag of dog treats in the end um, for $1.14. And then Easy Off is BOGO, and we've got a new 75 cent coupon for Easy Off, which makes each one of those $1.54 after the buy one get one sale. Um, so uh, I've been kind of referencing this, guys, but I'm always mentioning, you know, if you head to Publix or head to southernsavers.com slash Publix, you can make your shopping list. And this is exactly what I used. So I have the few things that I added on in the end um, with all my random free coupons from other places. But I basically go through, I pick what I want, and then I start to gather my coupons. And I write right next to it how many I plan to buy. 
um, and then head to the store. So I've got exactly, you know, everything as I go. Sometimes I change my mind. So this guy right here, the finish, you'll notice was not on the table. I completely changed my mind. It's buy one, get one and buy low. And once I pulled my Publix list, I realized it was buy one, get one and buy low and that it's cheaper in buy low. And so I decided to go with the cheaper one um, over the Publix one. Then I left my buy low coupons at home, but we'll get there before the sale ends. Um, but hopefully that helps you to kind of see even how I've prepped uh, all the way through. So I've got just some plan as I go through in the store. I don't need the coupons. I don't even need to look at them. I just buy exactly what the shopping list tells me to buy and then I head to the register. Uh, I do go through the coupons one time before I check out just to make sure I don't hand them, you know, like the finished detergent coupons or something that I changed my mind on, but um, pretty much in the store, I'm just following what this tells me to buy and I can get in and out of the store pretty quickly. So um, I'll back up again and show you everything and one, see if I can get it all there in one shot, but that's everything that we bought. It is um, saved 181 bucks on everything between coupons and BOGOs uh, and spent 109. Uh, and in terms of the coupon side of that, before they even started ringing in coupons, our total due was over 170. So pretty awesome that the coupons alone could bring down uh, the total by 60 bucks. Um, so a chunk of that savings is definitely buying all the BOGOs and the sales, but that's a ton just to save on the coupon side. And Christy says, I make it look so easy, but it's so time consuming. So if it is overwhelming you time-wise, Christy, what I would recommend is not going this big, um, but maybe picking 10 things. So make a much smaller list pick 10 things, find the coupons to go with those 10 things and head to the store. The time consuming part for a lot of us is sometimes all the printables and finding the printables or logging into the printable sites. Um, so for me, you know, maybe you just deal with the inserts or you just deal with, with what's the fastest for you to try to get done. The other thing that I used to do a long time ago is set a timer. And so once I hit that timer, whether I had cut all the coupons or not, it was time to go to the store. And we were just gonna grab the BOGOs, you know, coupon or no coupon, but we were done. And I was not gonna sit there and lose my mind um, just to cut a few more coupons. So that might help too. So start small uh, and, uh, you know, set yourself up for a win rather than being overwhelmed. And the last tip I can give you on time is to put your kids to work. Um, so for me, I make the shopping list and I make them cut all the insert coupons because I do not cut my coupons until I'm going to the store. Um, so I make the shopping list and then we sit down and cut everything, but they sit down and cut everything. So um, that is one way that they earn their keep and they have long learned that I'm gonna call them in on a Tuesday night to start cutting some coupons, but it definitely speeds things up um, to get some extra hands in there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off um, because I made everyone go hide quietly in a room and, and watch a movie and it's time to put people in bed. Um, but hopefully this helps. I'll turn back around one more time just for you to see everything. It is a great week to hit the stores no matter what store you go to. These were Publix deals, but even if you are not a Publix person, almost every single one of these is on sale in your favorite store. I can pr pretty much guarantee it because it is Thanksgiving week and we all want the same thing. So do not miss the deals this week. Also remember all of these ads are gonna run through Wednesday night. Some of them even through Thursday if your store is open on Thursday. Publix is not open on Thanksgiving, but every store that is, we will not see new ads start until Friday for all of our grocery stores next week. So you've got a lot of time to grab these um, and definitely wanna get stocked up. So thanks for joining me guys. I hope you guys have a great week.